Welcome to our little bed party. <laughs> Trapped in here, the baby's <laughs> sleeping, wash yeah. machine's on, we get a gnarly storm outside, basement's too dark. Yeah, this is the only place we can really film. <laughs> Welcome to our bedroom. Our puppy ranger, he's gonna join us. I thought it'd be fun to do a story of our births, and I feel like a lot of the stories that are all over the internet are negative. I just wanted to put out a positive story, especially if you're a new mom, you're going into labor and delivery soon, it's scary, and no one really prepares you for everything so let's just get into it i started having contractions starting at like 10 30. i could just like feel something happening and everyone always says like how do you know you just kind of know just a little different I hated when people said that to me because it's like well how do you know it's just like your body is like physically telling you that something's going on and you're contracting and it's happening very frequently it started at like 10 30. well you said that night you're like I had a bed. You're like, yeah. you told me, I think this is the night. Yeah, and I just didn't go to bed because I just knew. It was 10.30, I started having contractions. They kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger as time went on. I DJ up at about like 12.30. And I was hunched over the bed right here. And I said, this is happening. My contractions are about like... For three to five minutes. Three to five apart. minutes, which was very fast. And so I called my OB. I said this is what's happening and the on-call doctor you could tell he was like sleeping yeah he answered and he was like so groggy and so just like groggy. what and he was like it's time to go to the hospital <laughs> it's exactly how it sounded we already had our bags packed we that was fast we grabbed the two little bags that we had i mean yeah you had like your person bag and then i had whatever overnight bag which you need like none of that shit no i didn't use anything yeah me either we, we both did it yeah. so we grabbed our bags we got in the car and I sat in the back seat because I needed to like stretch out because I was needing all the space I could get. I was in so much pain. Obviously midnight, but there's construction Yeah. on like one of our main roads. Like I don't care how you get around this construction, but I was like, let's just fucking go. And I was sitting in the back like this. Like she's like screaming at me to go faster. I was <laughs> literally at one point I'm on 94, which is one of the main roads in Minnesota. And I was going on hundred. Yeah. with my hazards on just whew, we flew by a cop if they remember this and just nothing like i just feel like they they knew. Well, obviously the hazards on they like know something's up but like it, it was, was it was wild yeah we usually like if you're driving normally from our house to the hospital it should take about 40 minutes and we got there in 22 minutes it was absurd <laughs> it was absurd side story you had just gotten this car and this is we realized like because we wanted a little bigger of a vehicle for the baby. We realized that car just wasn't big enough. But no, wait. Side note. Was... I was in the back of this car while I was contracting. He was going 100 on the highway and I was just like, this car sucks. <laughs> we made a mistake and it's way too small. I was like freaking out. I was like, this is, this was the worst purchase ever. Like when we, when we went to buy the car, we obviously put the car seat in there and like yeah. tested it. Yeah. But like we didn't sit in the back seat with the car seat. No. So no. that's anyway. the car's no longer here, but no. we made it to the hospital. Right mm -hmm. to the emergency room, we, we we they let us park there for whatever a little bit. We go up, we check in. Yeah. There's confusion because she changed her name over from she legally has a different last name, but her ID wasn't switched over from when we were married. I mean, we've been married three years now. So that like, was my mistake. And they like admitted her, but then had all the wrong information, wrong names, insurance is ass, all oh, the whole thing. So when you get up to like the child like labor and delivery floor they have like a check-in room so they bring you in this room and they check you and see how dilated you are mm. and so before going in the actual before like, they can actually room. admit you to like your room so i go into this room she checks me and she was like i'm sorry but like you're only at a two and she wouldn't admit me until I was at a three. So, meters dilated for those that are yes. crazy to be only that fat dilated with having contractions every two minutes. Two minutes. At this point, it was every two minutes. And so we're like, what is going Cause on? Because I thought I was like going to be dilated to like a five. 100%. Or something. So I was like, this is going so fast. And the nurse was like, holy shit. You're only at a two. We can't admit you until you're at a three. So she was like, and I, DJ and I look at each other at the same time. We're like, we are not going home. Oh no. 
Babies up. Should I go get her quick? Sure. You can so, DJ and I both look at each other at the same exact time and we're like, we are not going home. And I was like, I don't want to drive all the way back home. It's not like we lived super close. So I was like, can we please stay? I was like, I don't want to leave. So she's like, okay, you can keep all of your stuff in this room and I want you to put this robe on. She said, I want you to do laps for an hour around the hallway and then you'll come back and you'll check and we'll see how dilated you are. Hi, sweetheart. Were you scared? She got scared. Telling everybody how you yeah. came into this world. Anyway, so I was walking around and around and around the labor and delivery center and she told me like every time I had a contraction to bend over and DJ would like push on my hips super hard. Mm -hmm. And so it's like every minute and a half DJ was like, Pushing. It was a lot. It was, it, it was a lot. I mean, it wasn't hard work compared to what you were going through, but like. But yeah, I, I was couldn't like, push hard enough. It, I was it like was, harder. It was the only thing to, that relieved your pain. Yeah, it it really. And did I was like, help. felt like I was just crunching your hips together. Yeah, I was like, just push harder. Anyway, so we walked around for an hour, and then I went back into the room. She checks me, and she's like, "Okay, we can admit you." And one of my friends prior to this happening told me to request a bath because if you request a bathtub, then you automatically get the bigger room. And because the bathtubs are only in the bigger rooms. Yeah, in the suites. And so luckily, they but had... you had always thought about taking a bath during that part anyway. Yes, I so... wanted one regardless. I did want to like sit in the bath. We get this suite, which was an amazing room. And I immediately was like, I need to get in this bathtub. I quickly undressed when I got into the room. Do you remember this? And I, yeah, this was you. You were coming into the world. And then I got undressed, I sat in the bathtub, and I immediately felt better. It was like an instant, like, calmness, and I was able to be more present. We were having conversation. You conversation. sat in there for 45 minutes, probably. Maybe not. Maybe an hour. 4.30? five in the morning yeah but as soon as I got out my contractions got so intense so quickly and I broke down like I just started crying I went into this whole experience thinking like whatever I'm feeling in that moment I'm gonna do so if that was get the epidural okay if that wasn't okay but I was just like I'm just gonna let my body tell me what it needs in that moment. As soon as I got out of the bathtub, I just like completely let loose. I asked the nurses, I'm like, what is like the deal if I got the epidural? Like what's the process? And they're like, okay, well you have to have a full IV drip prior because they want you to be really hydrated before they give it to you. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, it's like, how long is that gonna take? And she's like, well, it could take like 45 or 50 minutes. And I'm like, okay, well. Which I feel like the IV stuff isn't doesn't you don't it's not mandatory i feel like it's different for different people yeah i don't know I, but i think she really wanted me to have for it. sure yeah yeah maybe it's different for other people i was like okay let's let's order it up they came in they hooked me up um i got the iv drip and i was like halfway through and she's like let's order your epidural now because sometimes it can take a while for them to come up because they have other people other rooms to go yeah. to too and you just Let's don't see. know when they're gonna come. So she ordered it, and they probably came 30 minutes later. Yeah, it wasn't a horrible wait, but it felt, I'm sure like- It felt like forever. I mean, it felt like forever for me, cause I could see you being in so much pain. So I can only imagine what you felt. So the anesthesiologist comes, and she just like, didn't have the best She her, her She was grouchy. <laughs> but she was, she was a nice lady. She, yeah, she was, she just, was just grouchy and kind of some of the vibes got thrown a little bit, mm -hmm. I feel like. I also feel like, though, if you're working in that, like, career, like, you need to be very motherly, especially in those types of, types of situations, mm -hmm. because, obviously, first of all, it's very vulnerable. Second of all, you're in so much pain, and it's like, you just want someone to, like, comfort you in a way. Yeah. And, like, we had the best staff. Like, all the nurses were so great. Mm -hmm. So then when she came in, it just, like, grew me She's just down to business. Yeah, like, she was down to business. Like, in out. Yeah, which, which, is was, which is which is totally, fine. that's what she's there for. She's there to work. So. Yeah, it was fine. Um, anyway, so she did it, and it kind of took a little bit longer than I expected it to, but it wasn't, like, super painful, but I could just feel the pinch. So she tapes me up. After that, it slowed down my contractions Yeah, you had, to take, you had to end up taking Pitocin. Yeah, so it slowed, it slowed down my contractions, so they ended up 
giving me Pitocin to speed them back up, which is very common when you get an epidural. A lot of the times it can slow it down. Yeah, you're so into my story. And so they gave me Pitocin and they started to pick back up. At this point, I was feeling so good. The thought of having an epidural and feeling completely, completely numb and limp scared me. And my epidural, I could still feel my legs, wiggle my toes and all of that. So I felt very, very good. I felt very comfortable and I was like, this is amazing. I was able to be present. And DJ and I were just like having fun, making like silly videos and whatever. Yeah, I was literally making TikToks. <laughs> Using TikTok. But it was something to do to like take your mind off. It. Yeah, so, we were just like trying to like pass time. Which like is a great idea. Like if you're not into doing that or making videos, like honestly, bring it. This sounds so weird, but bring a game. Yeah, like do or, something. Or like place cards, like something to. Because at mm -hmm. this point, once she's in that point of like where she's Comfort. comforted and she's obviously still in some pain, but like not as bad as she was like her mind is back and like mm -hmm. to get the mind off of it so yeah they were wanting to like put me in a lot of different positions to like speed up my contractions and you were wanting to go yes a lot of i did i wanted to like move around i didn't want to be like just flat on my back for hours and so every like 20 to 30 minutes they would come in and like switch my position like side to side like sit up more sit back the epidural fell out I was eight centimeters dilated and my epidural fell out because I was moving around so much and it wasn't fully taped that well. At this point, I could only feel my left side. My whole right side was still really numb. And so they were like, okay, let's tip you first mm -hmm. on your left and see if that will start draining more to your left side. And then it didn't work. And then they kept getting worse and worse and worse. So they're like, we need to call the anesthesiologist now. Otherwise, you might not be able to get one. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, hurry it up. Let's call. And so a different guy came up. And he's like, what's going on? Whatever. I'm like, no, I can feel everything. Yeah, he goes, well, I have to redo it. We're going to have to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> she just went to the bathroom. <laughs> what you've been needing to do. <laughs> <laughs> So, but this guy was awesome. Was this so dude good. is like, was amazing. This dude was awesome. And he goes, oh yeah, you've been moving a lot, around a lot. There was not a lot of tape on there before. It wasn't. So he goes, I'm going to tape you up. And he yeah. literally taped the shit out of your back. And but when he put the needle in my back, I was like, oh, you already did it? Like he was so good at it and mm -hmm. so fast. And I was like, this is who we needed in the beginning. At this point, I got very, very numb, mm -hmm. which freaked me out a little bit just because I was feeling so good in the beginning. And then when I got my second epidural, I was just so limp. But like, I just didn't like that feeling. It kind of like made me a little anxious. Yeah. Got the second epidural. And at that point I was like, okay, I'm going to just lay down. I'm going to try to close my eyes. I think you were trying to close your eyes too. Yeah. We were just trying to rest because we're like, baby is coming. I'm eight centimeters. You were at eight centimeters for hours. Oh, three, four hours. Hours. Yeah. So like we really just like got to chill and just hang out. Yeah. Um, I like came in, checked my cervix and they were like all right you're at a 10 let's call the doctor i was like she's not here yet like yeah. where is she she's at the clinic she's at she was at four the... 30 minutes away yeah she's at the clinic so they're like all right call the doctor we're gonna start doing practice pushes <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> we're gonna start doing practice pushes right so yeah kind of get gearing up and jack starts doing practice pushes okay these are going good these are going good and all of a sudden they're like, okay, stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. Because the baby's right there. The baby's right there. right there. The doctor's not here. The doctor's stuck in traffic. And we look at each other like, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The doctor's stuck in traffic. Like, at this point, like, I've already started to watch. And you can see her head and start, coming out. You can like, see her out. hair. And, and we're like, I'm like, what? What do you mean I'm stop? Like, like, this baby. stop pushing? Literally 10 more pushing is, and the head is out. So anyway... Doctor gets there 20 minutes later, so she held off pushing. You yeah, off I had pushing. to hold her in, basically. I was doing some subtle pushing, but so my body wanted to. Yeah. But I wasn't, like, full force. And the doctor came running in, who was so great. It yeah, wasn't my actual phenomenal. OB. But that's another thing, is, like, you don't always get your OB. 
like when you go into labor, it's just like you kind of get who's on call. <laughs> she comes running in. She was so great. She was so nice. And she's like, okay, I'm ready, whatever. She was like out of breath, like and stuck in traffic. Ran in, <laughs> coat on, yeah. gloves, gloves. How are we doing? Checks everything. All right. She's like, okay, we're ready. And I'm like, I push. And she's like, oh, like, oh, all right. Coming, like, now. Coming. Okay. Okay, then I push two more times. And it was out, and then you push, like, I think you to pushed total six times. And she yeah, came out. I think so, yeah. Not to be, like, too TMI, but I feel like those practice pushes, and then, like, she was coming out, and then, like, kind of going back in. Like, you could see the pulsing, like, with her head coming out. Mm -hmm. I feel like that helped from, because you didn't tear that bad. Yeah. I feel like that really helped. Yeah, it was, like, a kind slow of warm up the, Yeah, but I watched the whole thing. Yeah, and it was f it was incredible like if i don't get woozy over that stuff mm -hmm. like obviously like or else i probably wouldn't have yeah but if you don't think you get woozy or like you think you can tough it out like i highly recommend watching it sounds bizarre to say that but like it is one of the coolest Experience. experiences ever and then mm -hmm. pop I, and you come out pop you came out and, you know, right as I was pushing, they're like, do you want a mirror so you can watch too? And I was like, no, like, I don't need to watch. Mm -hmm. I can, but like, I could feel her making her way out, which was so cool. Even when you do have an epidural, epidural, you can feel where the baby is in the exact same moment, which was so crazy. I wasn't expecting to feel yeah. that. But then it was like an instant like, and she came out, she laid on me. We I did cut the cord. DJ cut the yeah, cord. Yeah, that was cool. Pushing out the... The placenta. placenta sack or whatever yeah like and they like push on her stomach and then it like yeah that they thing, come and they like push it out of you oh and that thing flops out <laughs> it's disgusting but it just like <laughs> yeah that was gross that was that i was, was not i wasn't ready for that no one. that's that part's a little gross that's one thing they don't tell you about is like after they come and like push on your stomach for probably a few hours well yeah like, you have to make sure minutes. everything like gets out for yeah, they don't, after this all happens DJ went, or we ordered food, I got to eat, DJ was holding baby. What did I, I had a sub. We had sub, we had sub sammies and they were so good. Also bring, bring food, cause you're in there a long time, you got yeah. hungry, and then all of a sudden we're waiting on Uber Eats and I had to go leave the room. Um, but at this point, like, and our parents like were on standby, they only lived yeah. 20 minutes away. So like, they didn't want to come until we said, yeah, we yeah. were well, we were like no one come until we call. Yeah, like, we, we just wanted, wanted our own to like experience be with it. very present with just yeah. ourselves first. And then after patient consultant, consultant came in, we got our latching right away. And then they're basically like, okay, you relax for a little bit, and then we're gonna get you up and moving, go to the bathroom, yeah. all that stuff. And then you're out of this room in an hour and a half. We're like, yeah. what? I was like, wait, what? Where are we going? And so getting up after giving birth was a little freaky. I will say, I was fine, but like you just kind of feel like things could. I think we got a surprise in there. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of feel like things can yeah. just drop out of you at any moment. So I go to the bathroom, everything is great. We start picking up the room. They come and they put you in a wheelchair and they, the, our hospital actually played a song. What was the song? You remember? They play a song oh, they play over like a, the whole speaker of the hospital. Every like, time a baby's born. Every time a baby's born, and then they wheel you through, and you're holding your baby. It was actually really cute. Mm -hmm. um, but we got up to our room. We got comfortable. Then maybe an hour later, then our parents came, and it was obviously so fun to see their faces and hold her and tell them her name, which no one knew. Yeah. Um, so that was really special. Overall, like looking back on it, when we got home from the hospital, I remember sitting in the bathroom and it, it just started crying. Of course, your hormones are all, all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. Hormones all, all over the place. But I really was so sad that it was over because it was the coolest experience, experience ever. And I just can't wait to do it again. And it sounds so crazy, but it's like you forget all the pain you forget all like the hard parts of it and you really just like soak in all of the good and it's like so cool to meet your baby for the very first time and having like a pleasurable experience at the hospital right. we're at, we, we gave birth at Fairview <laughs> South Dale and Edina the they staff were, was insane and they, so nice yeah and the facility was fantastic like literally 
I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 experience because of two reasons. The first lady. Yeah. Um, Epidural. Epidural. Maybe she was having a bad day. Whatever. No, nothing against her. And the second reason, their billing oh, department. Yeah. I feel like that's every hospital yeah, though. Not a, not a fan. They were like, there was a lot of things, and I'm gonna put the, say this too. Watch what they scan in and watch what they give you during the process, especially all of you dads out there who are, you know, might have a little bit clear, more of a clear mind than the, yeah. the ladies giving birth, but um, there were a bunch of things. They try to sneak in a bunch of extra stuff for you to pay for. Yeah. And we caught a few. Yeah, Let's and so say. our bill was a little bit higher than it should have been, and now that's all taken care of. It's not, it's not a big deal, but like, no. just, just watch for that. And I think that's every hospital, though. Um, yeah, so but for like, me, if it wasn't that part, it would have been like for 100% time out of 10 experience. I feel so lucky to say that we had a good experience because obviously not everyone can say that, but it truly was so great. And I just want to say to all of the new pregnant moms that are going to be giving birth soon, don't be scared. I'll tell you that it's amazing. It's hard. It's like the best experience you'll ever go through. And, and worth it. Worth it cause now we have a little one and I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but I'm serious. I can't wait another to do it one, again. Another. That's my whole birth story, yeah. our story. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Good timing. Now you're here. Now you're here. We love you so much, Raina Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks All right. for watching. Thanks for watching. Come back next week Woo! for our next video. Woo! Woo! Woo!